want to start us off? Hey, buddy. Um, seemed like tonight could be summed up with solid pitching early and missed opportunities late. Getting into the, uh, the early part of the game with Herman, it seemed like he was really effective tonight, buddy. And it's hard to tell sometimes looking from lower press, but it, it seemed like he was really effective in, in working in the bottom half of the zone. A lot of action on the fastball and it looked like that slider was working well for him too. Was that what you were seeing? Yeah, his stuff was good tonight for sure, and I think that, you know, the fastball had, you know, solid velocity. Uh, he made some good pitches down in the zone. The slider was effective. Uh, you know, I thought he I thought he pitched really well. Uh, he was efficient. Uh, you know, some quick innings through the first four. His pitch count was down. You know, he did, uh, you know, sort of the opposite of what he did his opening day start. You know, a lot of people will say on a cold, wet night, you have very little luck in uh, hitting the long ball. But, uh, boy, there was plenty of it tonight. It's some good swings for sure. Um, understatement that Mac had a great night. Uh, what a, you know, what a fantastic night for Mac. Three homers and a double. Uh, great swings. You know, Dom Nunez with a, with a homer and Sam with a two-out bottom of the ninth home run. Dramatic. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was really a crazy game. You know, you get into, you know, with the, you know, with the man on second, uh, an extra innings rule, you know, anything can happen. Our, our pitchers battled, uh, their pitchers battled, you know, the, you know, a couple, couple key hits at the end in the, you know, the 13th by their, their pitcher dumped one in and then, you know, Marte on a, 0-2 pitch, got a low fastball that was intended to be away and dropped in on the ball in the gap to stretch it to a three-run lead. But it was back and forth. It was a it was a hard-fought game on both sides. Uh, our guys battled from uh, behind with, you know, Sam's big home run. Mac had a big night. Herman threw well. Uh, Givens threw the ball well. Bard threw the ball well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good things tonight that happened. Hey, buddy, one more quick one on Mac. Um... When, when he was out earlier, I asked him about, you know, what he worked on in uh, the offseason and during spring training in terms of, you know, improving his uh, clean swings at the plate and, and not chasing pitches out of the zone. What do you think specifically he has accomplished to, to, uh, to kind of fine-tune his approach? Well, it, you know, again, we've talked a lot with Mac and you know, a lot of players about the adjustments that have to be made in the big leagues. Uh, you know, they don't happen overnight. Uh, it's, it's a process. And, you know, Mac is still, you know, going through a, a, a process of of getting really to know his swing at the big league level and what he's going to have to do to, you know, maintain uh, consistency in his at-bats. Tonight was a special night. There's no doubt about that. But Mac is, uh, he's a good student. Uh, he's aware uh, of the things that he's working on and he works on them every day. So uh, it's good to see. It's good to see some of the results pay off in a, you know, in a single game. Uh, now the trick is to, you know, obviously sustain it and, and keep going. There's going to be ups and downs and peaks and valleys for all players. But, uh, you know, hopefully Mac can ride the momentum of tonight and the last couple of games to, uh, you know, for a while and, you know, be able to be a very productive player for us. Thank you very much, buddy. Thomas? Yes, buddy, to see Mac jump on a 3-0 pitch for, um, for that first home run especially, what does that say about his approach, the ability to identify a strike and not only identify a strike, but identify a strike that he can put a hard swing on? Well, you know, it's, again, that's a, that's a skill with a 3-0 with a count that, you know, hitters, you know, sort of zero in on a location. A little zero in on a pitch and, and put their swing on it. Uh, I think Mac last year had a, a, a 3-0 home run as well. But, you know, the 3-0 home run, that was, you know, sort of down and sort of down and in, right, in, you know, where Mac has a lot of power and he didn't miss it. Uh, I was impressed with the ball that he hit the center field. That ball was, you know, about overplayed a little bit and he barreled it. And the, you know, the last home run was a, you know, I made a break a ball from a lefty or, or, or something, I think, in the middle of the zone that, uh, you know, he connected again. You know, base hit, I like the double in the, 
in the last inning on a fastball, uh, you know, sort of middle of the way, and he took it the other way, and that was a good piece, piece of hitting as well. You know, we watched him last year kind of struggle through some things, but when he did make contact, it was hard, and there was a, a good slugging percentage considering the number of hits there. Is this something that you feel like um, there could be some consistency throughout uh, throughout a six-month season? Well, we're hoping so. I think, you know, Mac will be the first to tell you, you know, the strikeout rate's got to come down from last year. Uh, you know, we've talked about that. I think he's even commented on it. So uh, that's a big thing because when Mac hits the ball, he, he usually hits it with, you know, pretty good authority. Uh, I do think Mac has, you know, good strike zone discipline. Uh, I think he does control the zone. He doesn't chase a lot of pitches. Uh, you know, last year maybe a little bit too. You know, again, you know his history is that he's got you know pretty good play discipline. Yeah, you know, last year was you know not the case. He's got to get back on track this year to where the where the where the walk rate is solid and the and the chase comes, uh, the strikeout comes from the chase a little bit last year. So he's got to decrease the chase. Uh, the, in that in that case, the strikeout rate will, will decrease. And final question for me. Um, it seems like Christian Walker has done quite well against your teams. Is he just one of those guys of wh where every team has that guy that seems to give them trouble? Well, I got to look at the overall numbers. Uh, you know, he's got power. Uh, you know, he's, you know, he has had some good swings against us. You know, we play him a lot. There's no secrets. Uh, you know, her mom, the, you know, the fastball that, that he intended to throw didn't quite get inside on Walker. Uh, and he and he hammered it, you know. Just it was up a little bit, didn't get to the intended spot, and uh, Walker made him pay. But uh, you know, Walker's a he's a professional, he's a professional big leaguer. He's got talent. He hits a, he hits in the middle of the order for a ball club, so he's doing some good things. Thank you very much, coach. Kyle. Hey, buddy, Josh Fuentes coming on and uh, had the RBI double. Also scored another run later. Promising uh, showing for you, considering you know that risk. It looked pretty good tonight. Well, he, you know, he, uh, you know, he tested it early in the day uh, in the cage. We didn't hit on the field today because of the weather, but early on he got treatment. Uh, he went down to the cage and went through the process of uh, getting to batting, live batting practice in the cage. He did some team work, some soft toss, uh, felt good, and then off a, a, a BP arm. Uh, he swung and swung the bat very well uh, with no restrictions and no tentativeness. So that was a good sign. So when it got to that point in the game where uh, we needed Josh, uh, he was ready to go. Uh, he had hit in the cage prior in the latter stages of the game to get ready for that. So he seems to have uh, healed, you know, from that, uh, you know, from that soreness. Uh, we'll see tomorrow again how it is because he had, you know, obviously a number of bad bats, but uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, this is behind. Thanks, buddy. Larry Patrick. Yes, bud. Uh, most of the time, you don't like having to go to your bullpen as much as you did tonight, uh, particularly with the extra inning game. Being that early in the season is as much of a factor uh, now as it would be later on in the in the year. Well, it depends on how many, you know, appearances the, you know, the bullpen makes uh, you know, over any part of the season. Uh, you know, they've been in there, uh, you know, pretty regular here through the first five games. I think a lot of the relievers in, have, have pitched in at least three of the five. Uh, so that's, you know, pretty substantial work. Uh, you know, hopefully that is not the case as we move forward. Uh, tonight was just one of those games where we had to use a, a bunch of pitching, uh, as did the Diamondbacks. You get into these extra inning games and in the National League game, the pitcher spot comes up. You have to pinch hit for them. Uh, there's no designated hitter. Uh, you know, guys are going one inning. And we have a lot of guys who are sort of built for one inning. So we, we got to make sure that, uh, you know, we'll monitor their arms, monitor you know, how they're feeling and, and use them accordingly. Despite the fact there weren't a lot of people left in the stands uh, later in the game being very cold, uh, it was still a pretty vocal crowd out there, and I'm sure you and the players uh, noticed that. Sure. Yeah, they were, you know, the start of the game, 
you know, I wasn't surprised. I know Denver fans come out, so that didn't really surprise me after the, the rain delay and, you know, a little bit of the frigid conditions. But uh, we had great fans, and I think that uh, it showed as the game went on. It was, what, close to midnight. Uh, they kept their enthusiasm. It was, it was great to see. It's great for the players. Players love that. Thank you, bud. All right, Owen, to finish us off. Uh, hey, bud. The um, you you mentioned a lot of good things to come out of tonight. You didn't get a lot of support from the middle of the lineup, but in the long run, uh, is it encouraging to to play a competitive game like that tonight without the middle of the lineup contributing very much? Yeah, you see that. Well, yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah, well, it's gonna take you know all all guys in the lineup to to you know, to play with their capabilities over the long haul for us to be the offense we want to be. It was a tough night for for uh, Trev, Chuck, and, and Crone tonight in the middle of the order, like you mentioned. But, you know, it was good to see Mac have a big game. And, you know, Sam had, a, uh, you know, a big home run. Nunez had a big home run. Uh, you know, Hampson had a couple productive at-bats. Uh, you know, Tap was a little bit light tonight. But, you know, on a given night, you know, for us to – you know, score runs and be the offense we want to be. It's going to take it's going to take a number of guys, you know, having a successful uh, ball games, successful weeks. You know, nice runs at bats. Uh, you just can't rely on you know Trevor and Chuck and you know potentially Krillin. Everybody's got to you know, got to contribute. But it was one of those games where we pitched well enough to to keep it tight, as did the Diamondbacks. Uh, they just got the one big hit at the end by Marte to stretch the lead. Great. 